So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find proven products in a matter of minutes. To be completely upfront and honest with you guys, a lot of the product research tools I use are actually 100% free. So for example, you can use tools like Google Trends to see when a product spikes and then dips in popularity. And you can also use tools like the AliExpress Dropshipping Center to see exactly how many units of a particular product sell on a daily basis. Before I commit the resources to test the product, I like to back that product up with as much information and data as possible. That's why in this video, I wanna show you a tool that I use myself called Sell the Trend. All the products on Sell the Trend come with lots of information and data, which makes a decision a lot easier when it comes to picking products to test. They've recently updated their user interface and added some pretty cool features, so that's what I want to share with you today in this video. Before we jump into it though, I know a lot of people struggle with the product research process, so I just want to share with you very quickly a way of thinking that's helped out a lot of my students. When you found a product that you're happy with, pretend that you then have to present that product to a group of investors. The more information and data you have to back a product up, then obviously the more likely they are to invest in it. So for example, if you present a product and the only piece of information to back it up you have is it has a thousand orders on AliExpress, obviously that's not much information, not much history behind the product and you're probably not going to get anybody to invest. Whereas if you approach those same group of investors and you are able to say it has a thousand orders on AliExpress, it's currently at peak popularity, there's over $40 of room for profit per sale and there's currently only two other people selling it on Facebook, then all of a sudden that product becomes a lot more investable and obviously has a lot more potential and makes it a lot more testable. So the first additional feature I want to share with you is the CJ dropshipping integration. To get to this, go to suppliers on the left hand side and then you can pick and choose which platform you want to look at products for. The reason why this is so important is all the information that comes across from CJ dropshipping is from dropshippers. Whereas what you have to realize on AliExpress, the order numbers that you see aren't always from dropshippers and could be from end users. So essentially what this means is just because a product has thousands and thousands of orders doesn't necessarily mean it's a good one to go ahead and dropship and actually test. So let's take this sponge this cosmetic sponge as an example, we can see it has nearly 15,000 orders. But for us to drop ship this successfully, we'd have to add a minimum of $20 onto that price. And I'm no expert in cosmetics, but in my mind, you would struggle to sell this at $25. So when you're looking at products on the Sell the Trend platform under the CJ Dropshipping tab, the key number you wanna keep an eye on is the amount of lists. Lists are basically when somebody's added it to their store. So what you can take from this, obviously the more people adding this product to their store, there must be a reason behind this and it gives you a reason to then investigate that product even more. Do keep in mind though, products can become saturated and unless you can do something differently to separate yourself from the competition, then it can be difficult to break into the market and sell the product successfully. That's why before committing the resources to test the product, it's really important that you consider many different variables behind the product before doing so. The next feature I want to show you is the products tab. This is essentially where you'll be spending the majority of your time when doing your product research on Sell the Trend. At the top, they've separated the different category of products so you can go exactly to what you're looking for. So if you're looking for products that are currently coming into trend and increasing in popularity, then on the rise is where you want to go. If you want to find products that are currently peaking in popularity and i.e. ideal to drop ship today, then trending tab is where you want to go. But where I like to spend most of my time is I go straight to the all tab so I can then filter the products by what I want to find. So you can filter the products by categories and niches. If you're already established yourself in a niche, you can go straight to hobbies and toys, for example, to find a product to add to your current collection. By hitting more filters, we can really narrow down on the types of products that we want to find. The price parameters here, this is what current Shopify stores are selling the products for. The order parameters are currently how many orders there are for this product on AliExpress. This one can be a double-edged sword. Low orders doesn't necessarily mean a bad product, it might just mean it hasn't been discovered yet. But the flip side to this is low orders can also mean that nobody wants to buy the product. Store selling, this is how many Shopify stores sell the trend of tracking selling the current product. And then obviously we have product cost, which is what the cost of the product is to us on AliExpress. This is where I typically like to put $10 as a minimum. The reason being is because this is going to filter out all the cheap products that have super low profit margins, which will then in turn make them difficult to drop ship. Keep in mind, any products we pick, we like to leave at least a minimum of $20 room. So what this means as an example is if the product cost to us is $10 delivered, we need to be able to sell that product, retail that product at a minimum of $30. Below we have a variety of extra filters we can use. Some of the most important ones are the shipping from. If you want to ship to the US and offer that faster shipping, make sure you tick this box. If you want to do the same for Europe, then make sure you tick this box. If you're gonna be drop shipping to the UK, make sure you tick Europe. There's countries such as Spain and Germany that can ship to the UK in less than 10 days. One thing I like to do myself if I'm trying to find products that have the information and have the data behind them 
is go to three months for this found date. That way there's three months of tracked information behind a product. Once the results are loaded, there's a couple of options here. If you're confident in your product's picking capabilities, scroll through, find something which catches your eye, and then you can jump a bit deeper into the information, into the data by hitting the product research button. If you wanna go straight to what's most popular, click this sort by tab, and then you have a variety of different options to filter by. So if we go for most orders, this should load the products which have the most orders on AliExpress, and therefore the most data behind them, so we can use that data to make a judgment on the product. Just keep in mind, if you do choose to filter this way, you're obviously gonna be finding the most popular and saturated products. This massage gun here has obviously been very popular in the last three to five years. Once you've found a product that catches your eye, so for me it was this robotic vacuum cleaner, these are becoming ever more popular, especially in cities where a lot of people live in apartments. If you hit the product research tab, it will open up all the information that Seller Trend has then tracked behind the product. So we have the amount of orders, this is taken from AliExpress. We have the product cost, which is the cost to buy this product on AliExpress. We have the selling price, so this is the average selling price of what people are selling it for on their Shopify stores. So for some reason we can see this doesn't marry up quite correctly. We'd have to investigate this and adjust the prices accordingly. Over half a million dollars total sales, so that is from the AliExpress supplier. And currently there's only one supplier for this product on AliExpress. Let's go to this supplier. If we hit see all, it will take us down to the suppliers tab. We can hit this arrow and it will take us to the listing on AliExpress. Once we're on the listing, we can obviously see all the information behind the product, the different variants, where it can ship from. So this particular product can actually do UK to UK via DHL in five to seven days. At the moment, I'm a really high fan for high ticket products. Drop shipping is typically really popular with low ticket, low margin products. So when it comes to products like this, chances are there's not gonna really be many people advertising it and therefore it leaves a potential gap in the market. This is now where I really like Sell the Trend. It gives you some great product insights. Sell the Trend also gives you some great insights behind a product. We can see for this robot vacuum that it's currently low competition. The product is not oversaturated in the market. There's a good amount of orders. Product has nearly 3,000 orders. But then one downside to that it's not a new product. It's added to sell the trend over two years ago. My recommendation would be to take this information with a pinch of salt and double check and double back up this information by doing your own research off of sell the trend. Go onto Facebook, see how many people are advertising the product. Double check it against Google Trends to see if it's currently in demand. And again, have a look at other listings on AliExpress to see how many daily sales volumes there are for this product. Sell the trend also gives us the top customer countries. If you hover over it, we can see which countries are buying this product. So we can see it's currently really products in the United States, in the Netherlands, in Poland, in France, in Spain, and in Lithuania. Being in the UK myself, this begs the question, could we sell this product and be a market leader for this product in the UK? If you're struggling with Facebook interests to target, sell the trend can sometimes give you some good ideas of places where to start. At the bottom, we have the quick start options, robotic vacuum cleaner so these are targetable interests on Facebook and as a starting point we can then build on this by hitting the suggestions button to find similar interests to target. We can also use these two Shopify tabs at the top to help us find proven products. If we go to the Shopify stores tab and then filter by the niche and category of products that we want to find, filter the stores by store type, we can go to drop shipping stores and we can also sort by tracking code as well. What this will allow us to do is find stores that have the Facebook pixel installed or the Google Analytics or the Twitter tag. We can then sort the stores by the Alexa rank or monthly tech spend. By choosing the Alexa rank, we're basically gonna be sorting stores that have the most traffic each month. Once we have the results, we can open up the store, see what kind of products they're selling. We could even use our Shopify inspector tool to go to products, best sellers, and see that this best selling product for this store is this comfy marshmallow cat slash dog bed. Once we've found the website and the product, we can even take it one step further, go to the Facebook ad library, find the exact Facebook ads these guys are running. If they're not running any Facebook ads like this store, it can be one of two things. Number one is there's space on Facebook to dominate the market and become a market leader for this product. Or number two, they've seen better results elsewhere and they're selling this product using another platform, for example, Google. We can use the Shopify products tab at the top. This way, we'll only be looking at products that people are currently selling on their Shopify stores, i.e. their resellers from Amazon or AliExpress. So what we can learn from this is that if there's a product on this screen that has loads of orders, that can illustrate it's a great product to drop ship and has potential. This method can sometimes be a bit hit and miss, but it's worth coming here once a week, having a flick through to see if you see anything that catches your eye. Remember, you can always filter by categories and niches to find products in the specific niche that you want to sell in.
where this can be useful is if we're coming up to Q4 like we are now, then obviously there's certain niches like toys and games, things like that, which are obviously gonna spike in popularity. With that being said, I've covered everything I wanted to show you in this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. More importantly, I really hope you take something away which helps you find that one winning product. If you'd like to try out Sell the Trend, there will be a link in the video description below which will get you a free trial. And if you guys have any questions or if there's any features I missed about Sell the Trend that need sharing, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Before you go, one final quick message. If you are looking for a program to take you from day one, from scratch as a complete beginner, all the way up to having a fully fledged and functioning Shopify business, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy. There'll be a link in the video description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.